Did you know that in worship services of the early church, there was the freedom to speak even if you weren't a pastor? There was an open format for sharing, for testimonies. There was the free exercise of those spiritual gifts that involve speaking. You see, spirit-led verbal contributions by the congregation to the meeting were the norm rather than the exception. The expectation is that you would come prepared, that each one has something to share. There was an open, spirit-led participation by the many. Now, along with that, there was considerable spontaneity. It was an orderly spontaneity. There was fluidity. Nothing was predestined in a bulletin. It did not have to be scheduled in advance. There were general guidelines, but the proceedings were determined by the Holy Spirit. So there was freedom to speak. There was orderly spontaneity. And the goal for everything, said or done, was edification. That is, to strengthen the church, to encourage the saints as love and good deeds were stirred up. So in general, in early church worship services, there was a principle of participation. Now the question is, why did they do it this way? And maybe more importantly, what are we missing if we don't do it that way? So let's go back to why they did it the way they did it. This was a growth strategy designed by Jesus himself. It was designed to unleash the laity, to strengthen the church. It was designed to allow the free use of spiritual gifts in a church meeting. This would result in the encouragement of the saints. Its purpose was to stir up love and good deeds. And let me say, the churches I've worked with for 30 years have been practicing this. They say nothing ever becomes real until it is experienced. Well, we've lived this out, and I can testify that it really does accomplish these growth objectives. More importantly, it was directly commanded by the Lord Jesus that we do church this way. In 1 Corinthians 14.37, Paul said, The things I am writing to you, he was talking about these participatory meetings, the things that I am writing to you are a command of the Lord. So we'll come back and look at that a little later. So again, what was this strategy? The strategy from Jesus to the ancient church was that when they had worship, it was to be with an open format, orderly spontaneity, and the goal was to strengthen the church by stirring up love and good deeds. 